At your community this morning, Burlington is giving thousands of dollars to small businesses and nonprofits owned by people of color. NBC5 Zuri Hoffman has more on this grant. They really want to see the small business thrive. They want to see somebody like me thrive for sure. Mujib Khalik, the owner of North Country Kettlebells in Burlington, is one of 29 recipients of the city's first ever BIPOC small business and nonprofit relief grant program, helping out people of color who are small business owners during the pandemic. As a personal trainer, Khalik says the pandemic has been tough for his bottom line. In really every way that you can imagine, COVID definitely um, affected and shifted my focus with business. The feedback that we have gotten from recipients of the grants has been um, very powerful. Burlington giving out between $2,000 and $7,000 in effort to help promote racial equality since the city says COVID-19 has disproportionately affected people of color. BIPOC individuals have been disproportionately impacted by this pandemic in so many ways. The money donated by 7th Generation, Burton, Ben & Jerry's, VSCCU, Vermont Gas, and the Preservation Trust Fund of Vermont. The city using $50,000 from its racial trust fund too. We have begun to understand more deeply the connections between systemic racism and human health, and we feel a deep responsibility to address those uh, issues to, to really further our commitment to human health for all. Seventh Generation is hoping the funds will go a long way. Kalik plans to put it to use as soon as possible. I've already been really pushing to develop virtual programs uh, since COVID hit, and the BIPOC grant coming up just allowed me to give that a boost. In Burlington, Zuri Hoffman, NBC5 News.